Hello everyone, my name is Lothorn and welcome back to Potion Craft, making an antidote for snake venom. It has to have two types of ingredients, no more, and you want an unusual potion with additional effects. The more effects, the better. Okay, that is quite the ask. Um, Anti-venom. Not to be mistaken with Uncle Venom. Located down here. It's additional effects. Will be a wee bit tricky. Okay. Yeah, luckily. Anti Venom has some um, simple to do thingy with daubers. I mean, hmm. I don't know. Uh, this will probably be pretty good to healer's hearths still got in the old memory bank what they're called all right one healer hearth two healer hearth will perfect dodge nice oh shoot i didn't mean to throw that healer hearth in there Ooh, that's a waste of healer hearth okay another healer hearth and this is all gonna get messed up by the oil is not it when i hit here yep Okay. Um, and then I guess the mosh shroom will be the final ingredient that I play with. Uh, okay, a little bit, a little too hefty on it. Um, hmm, it'll still work. Yep, yeah, it'll still work because we simply bring it to right about here and right on the line there we go dilute 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 there we go there and empty even a maid but then he's a freak and wants extra potency or something so we drop some more healer hearth in to get the anti-acid properties can just a taste of it. There we go. It's a taste of antiacid. And then what other ingredients will I be able to combine with this? I maybe want those there. I'll just dilute it through the oil. And Gonna have to use a lot of these, methinks. Yep. Alright. We'll just get that pre crunched up, shall we? Shouldn't have done it all the way. There we go. Okay, more oil. It's getting all sticky and slow in the oil. Then we just stir it up to about there. And. Neutralize the stirring to here. There we go. And we can add, I think this will be healing as a final bonus. There we go. Perfect, exactly what you wanted. Weirdo. Bloody weird potion. Okay. Uh, visibility radius, practices. Whatever. And then we were doing stuff in here, weren't we? Oh right, I messed up. It was invisible. It's pause, shoes, invisibility, pause, shoe, invisibility. Right, pause, shoe, invisibility. All right. Let's go do that then. Pause, shoes, invisibility. Shoes is much better because I think there's only like one shoes. Pause shoes. Do, do, do. I mean, it works. Well, get destroyed though is the better question. Uh, there we go. Pause shoe. First, we'll get the pause, and we'll get the shoes. Pause into shoes. All right. 
pause. And then shoes. Invisibility. Fire. Spicy. Ha. All right. One of those. Mushroom. Illustrious mushroom. Uh, works for my purposes. Make my route. And then we want to switch to some sort of wind, I guess, here. But not that wind, or that wind, or really any of those winds. Shadow it is. Okay. A little overshot, really. Right. So now we get the sh sh shoes. And then invisibility after shoes. Okay. So two to shoe. And then one of these. So we're going to dilute it just a little bit. Dilute it just a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Okay, water, water lark. That'll do. Okay, and a little bit more water. Get it up to there. And perfect. One phantom skirt. And the potion is done. Dexterity, swiftness, and invisibility. Put into uh, this thing. What? No. No, not there. This one there. Okay. Oil heart invisibility. Ooh, ooh, that one's going to be tricky. Well, we'll do that tomorrow, I believe, as we should get some sleep. Get ready for the next day's harvest. All that good stuff. Indeed. Just drinking some potion of my own. Didn't brew it myself. Bought it from the local potion brewer. Probably has weird effects on me health. You need an explosive potion. All right, there you go. Boom, bada bing, baby. Life crystal. Well, those just look fun. So I'm taking them all. Can always use the bloody, can always use the wind. Your fire crystals are expensive. Hence. Well, they're expensive, but the life crystals are fun. So we'll snake some of those off you and we'll talk about beer and such things. We would like to talk about beer and women, but if it's just beer, it's just beer. All right, see you later, buddy. Ah, uh, madam. Potions for running from guards when you commit crimes. I believe I have one of those here. It's a perfume, not a potion, actually, though, so. Don't spend it all in one place. Protection from bandit knives. Uh, there you go. Nice and hefty. And poison to poison someone. Uh, that'll do you. There you go. Alright, show me what you got. Ooh, Healer's Earth. Perfect. Ooh, what stuff? Mage Berry. I'll take a lot of those. You got some Boom Bloom. You got a little bit of that. Ooh, you got that water. The Puff. I think I need those for one recipe specifically. Grasping Roots. Good berries I'm just low on, and all those expensive, I'll just buy a lot of those because I can afford it. Alright, and then we'll just haggle you down. A lot of those actually made this whole thing really expensive. Okay. I mean, I say I can't afford it, but that was 
actually very, very expensive. It gained $2,000 off it. It's quite nice because, goodness, that's a lot of money. Good card, woman. All right, it's a deal. Thank you. And good day. And how about you? Um, I need to use your potion additional effects. Potion to light up my house. Dragon pepper is my favorite ingredient. Um, at least a little dragon pepper in it. Lighting up a house with dragon pepper is a terrible idea. Dragon pepper is a quite unpredictable ingredient, good sir. You have no idea what you ask for. You could kill a whole family with just one dragon pepper. Just one, I tell you. I bet I could make one of these actually quite high quality with only dragon pepper. Okay. How many additional effects did he want? Um, ooh. At least... Yes. I know what potions I'm making for you, buddy. Yes, indeed. I know exactly the kind of lighting you're going to be getting. Alright. Let's not mess this up. Okay, well. We can still pull the old yoke back. So. There we go. We pull that there. Get some light in the place. Light it all up. Use a little bit of this here. One of those. And one boom bloom. Along with one of these. Yeah, right. Two about there. And almost perfect. You don't need to be perfect though. Okay. Anyways, we get one of those. Then I believe I want to use one of those along with it another one of those and then a light tap there around to about here I'll do and then crush that up and rage and libido including lighting um, many inappropriate things I could call this potion uh, we're just going to call it Mood Lighting. Um, for when you're in the mood. I'm saving that recipe. Actually, I'm going to change this though. There we go. Where is my mood lighting? Yeah, we need to we need to change that symbol to Ooh, that flower is quite nice, but that was, that's not the mood. There we go. Okay. Mood lighting, sir. You're a very, very specifically crafted potion. Alright. Lighting from gods. Uh, my reputation is taking a few hits here, sir, so. Be gone with your bigger. You as well. A potion to protect you from lightning during the storms. I need to do some lightning protecting myself, actually. Alright. Well, lightning protection potions, is it? Oh my, that is quite the leap, this potion. Quite the leap. Three magic, one earth, and wait—is that the stone? That's the stone skin, is it? Yes, stone. That must be the stone skin. We'll, we'll figure that out now. Okay. Hey, <laughs> such a fun potion. Um. 
Right then, stone skin discovered in time. I'm going to need two of these. Dirt, 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 dirt. Okay. Dirt, 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 dirt. This oil seems to be very protective. I don't know why. Just is it some nature. Okay. So you stone skin? Brilliant. This would be the stone stand electricity, and then we could drag it back to the top and do that there. It's all good. Garbage potion, though. Uh, you need this storm protection. Yes. Apologies. Contemplating things. Okay. One full dirt shroom. Two full dirt shrooms. And. That will take us to right about here, which is perfect. Twofold. Did, do I have storm protection saved? Oh, wow. That's a, that's a twist. I can make this much better. I'm pretty certain. Well, maybe not. Maybe, maybe that's the best I can make it. Um, nice. I feel like there might be better recipes. Maybe not. Might be the best. Okay. Uh, anyways, we get that to there. Oh, touch the oil a little bit. Gross. Hmm. Healer's Earth is the best option. Okay. So what I have saved is probably the best. So, yeah, this one. This one's gonna be rubbish. And look at that. What do I have it saved as? Ah. I mean, this one's actually gonna be slightly more efficient, surprisingly, somehow. Okay, still, probably could you do even better than this. No point in saving it. There you go. Okay, thunder protection. And get out of my shop. Chill drinks. Potion bonus effects. Um, don't use more than one type of ingredient, if possible, and you want bonus effects. Alright, well, I'll get back to you on that. As I have a potion of ridiculous proportions to make magic protection first. Oh goodness, this is... <sighs> It's going to be quite the trip. I could use arcane gems the whole way, I suppose. Although these mage berries, actually, are an excellent choice. Don't want to overcrush them, though. Okay. That's one mage berry downed. Another one can get me nicely to here. Out and around the problem. These mage berries are actually a brilliant investment, I must admit. Uh, the spell bloom, though, is going to have to go through quite a bit of oil here. It's going to make it a very slipped-up spell. Hmm. Could I double mage berry for a little cheeky slip around? I think I can. Look at this dodge. Whoop! Around the bone field we go. And then one shadow, as I suspected. We'll do the rest. Okay. This needs to be quite high potency for the potion 
to make the new stuff. Okay, now we need this lightning protection, is it? Yeah, lightning protection and earth, that is... Oh, that is a potion, I will admit to that. That is definitely a potion, okay. Where do you reckon that will take me? <laughs> are some are useless or some are useful? Figure it out. Oh, okay. Useless. Not where I wanted to go at all. Right, well... Fire it is, then. Brief dance with fire. I feel like fire and oil should not mix. There's, isn't there, like, something saying they, those two shouldn't mix? Oh, I might have bulked things up. Oh my goodness, that was far too close for my liking. Far, far too close for my liking. Okay. Well. Now it's pretty straightforward, actually. It's just... Two of these nonsense earth mushrooms. One mushroom of dirt. Two mushroom of dirt. A whole wackadoodle of oil. A bunch of stirring. And we'll have this one done in no time. Then we can make that woman's rather absurd request. Okay. One level of that. And then to get down to the Thunder Doom. That Garmaxi is actually not a terrible choice to get there. Yeah, okay, a little little worse for wear, actually, than I thought that was. Momentarily worrying. Um, Healer's Hearth. Next. Here we go. Okay, Healer's Hearth. Getting dragged over a little bit. One of you. And... Away we go. Okay. And where do you go? Bottom weird looking thingy. Yeah. Only need two more to go until we get that result. And drinks chilling, was it? Oh yes, you're still a customer in my shop. Okay, chilling drinks. Additional effects. Uh Kraken's Leaf, not really going to work for this. Could make Ice Fruit work. Phantom Bloom definitely won't do. Um, no. It's trickiest one, ain't it? Alright. Ice Fruit it is. One Ice Fruit. Coming up. Does this work? Does a double ice fruit on Tonda work? Might. Might not. You'll have to wait and see. Get a little foo woo face. Okay, yeah, it works just fine. Right then. Max power. And. Now what? I guess crush to the tip. And crush to the tip. All right, all right, all right. I see him. I see him. And down to square zero. As we extra effect. A bunch of extra effects are. Uh, with some bonus effects. Okay, one type ingredient. And so then we get here. I, I'm infusing it to a sleep. It's a little tricky, I think. But I can possibly infuse it with magic. That might be the doable one. Okay. Ooh, that's not going to work. 
that's not going to work at all. Because, yeah, that's going to... Actually, it might now. It might now. How about that? Okay. Okay. I see. I see where this is going. Okay. Alright, and we just do one more. And then drag the whole silly thing over. Okay. Right, right. Right, so we get to here. Do another one. We use a excessive amount of ice fruit. Um, okay. Um, I feel like I screwed up somewhere along the way here. Hmm. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Alright, well, let's try for the eyeballs then. Okay. Everyone likes a little bit of eyeball action. Bollocks, 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 bollocks. Hmm. That won't work. Well, actually, down there, I might be able to get life. I might be able to get life. Okay. Right then. Stir, 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 stir. And pour. Stir. Pour. And forge. And. One. Two. Here, we get that additional effect, and go to there, and then we pour, and we can scoot it down here, whoop, we can pour, and it works perfectly. Start at a lower point than it did each time, and so like a graph, you can slowly make it descend. No, this is what you're getting, lady. Get out of here, maybe lose a ton of ice roots. Get out of my shop. Alright, bedtime. Annoyed. Annoyed with her, annoyed with how she messed with my shop. Waste of my chill fruits. Alright, wizard boy, what you got? Alright. Hang on. I can't afford to buy all those. After the ice fruit debacle. Alright, have a good day. Healing wounds. There you go. Oh, sure. Stop. I need to oil a gate to make it stop squeaking. I thought this potion would make someone stop squeaking. Please don't use any more than three types of ingredients in this potion if possible. Huh. Tier 3 oil. uses four kinds of ingredients. Well, it's time for us to only use three in our oil. 
Or I could just not be bothered. Fair point. Yep. Really stressed to be and continue brewing from here. You will take my oil and you will like it. Good day, madam. Roadblock explosives? Don't have those at the moment. We'll be right back with you. Get them brewed in a jiffy. Yeah. Heart and invisibility. Where Dickens that must be invisibility? Right there. That's heart there. Okay. I see you. I see your sneakiness. Where do you think that drags me? Well, let's find out. Okay, here we go. Oh, right there, that is actually perfect. Right, one in the heart. Boom. And now I just need that invisibility, which is going to be that one. Or that one. Save this recipe. Due to uncertainty. And air potions. Ah, oh, things get messy, don't they? They always do. Okay, well these are actually kind of ideal right now. So I'll use two of them. There we go. And one shadow candelabra. And that should be perfect for the potion. If not, then I shall eat a hat made out of meat. So leather cap. That is lightning. Of course that is lightning. Okay. Now then that is worthless. And fear not for our weird potion. We can we can work with. We still have that option for the visibility. Okay. So just get up there, get back up on the horse, and we'll eat that horse. So, that's one horse, two horses, and one of those, because they look funny. And then one of these, because it's actually just quite practical. And probably, s we'll figure it out. As we're going to have to traverse a little bit of oil here. Just just a tiny, tiny, tiny touch of oiliness in our daily life and experiences. Yeah, just uh, get in there. It's a very slippery potion. I want to go back to making mood lights. That was a fun potion to make, the mood light. But I'm instead stuck here making god knows what's. For what's purposes? Invisibility. There we go. That goes into there. No. That goes into there. Yes. Okay, shrinking magic shields. Hmm. Shrinking and magic shields. That will go like this and loop up there. And it's two shrinking, three shrinking, one magic shield. Okay, explosive potion. Uh, bam. There we go. Roadblock. Be gone. Oh, Shroom Merchant. Hello. Okay. Whew. Always like those. Always like those. Lava shelves are expensive today. I don't need any of those. Try to saddle. Okay. Shadow Candelabra. Despite the prices, I shall haggle you down for it. And get 886 off. There we go. Whoa! Getting close there. Alright. Get ye gone, uh, campfire. Druid's rosemary uh, is awful, actually, in those. So, you're going to get a campfire I make for you, and you're going to like it. 
and reconciling with someone dear to you. You want some charming perfume. There you go. Pink robe. He's a wizard of Louvre. There we go. Imbue an item with lightning. Okay. Weaker the better. I don't make weak potions, I'm afraid, lady. So, you are getting the strong one. Now get out of my shop. Improve my vision. Okay. It's vision improving potion. Did I? I still... There it is. It's hiding. It's hard to see. Ha! The irony. Oh, there you go. And finally, you need a potion to make you strong. Alright, there you have it. And that is how you sell and brew potions, ladies and gentlemen. Now we need shrinking for the winking and magical shields. I don't have... I do have perfectly stored a shrinking. So now I just need a winking. Okay, good. That will be a process of much air magic. To here, this little squirrel dip around. Feather fluffs get us to there. Okay, and we'll see where this takes us. Need two magic shields, so we'll just keep staring into the way. Stare, 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 stare. That warp might take me somewhere interesting. It also might take me exactly where I don't need to go. I think I'll gamble it, though. Because I can always just redo it. So, let us find and seek and see what will become of me. Mm, not bad. Honestly, it gets me closer to my goals. Not exactly in the direction that I'm going, but close enough. Me thinks to myself, yes, yes indeed. Me does think so. Good. All right, there we go. That will unorthodox, expensive. In the end, worthwhile. One of those will take me to about here. And then it's just a little bit of water added into my alchemy and it'll be sorted. Okay, alchemy. Time. Uh, ice fruit. Tier 2. Shrinking and magic protection. Goes right there. And now we just have one thing left for that. Excellent for the moon sugar. Moon sugar, good. Good, good, good. Everything's taken care of. The shop's doing fine. Take my rest. All right. Good night. Good night's sleep. Wake up to the next morning. Go out to the garden. Pick some flowers. Pick some roots. Go to the shop front. And you need a potion to make you brave. I have rage for bravery. Oh. 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 Hello. I can move these around. Very nice. So I can bring them all to the forefront. Oh, that is most excellent. So that is very useful indeed. Alright. Brewing you a rage potion, madam. There you go, you're brave. Fertilizer for the garden, bonus effects, fertilizer. Continue brewing from here. Bonus effects, we can even put into a gardening variety potion. Yeah. Throw that in. Add some healing. All right. And how about, I'm leaning very far away from my microphone, some fireweed. Oh, it's flameweed. They could have called it fireweed. Made it look like fireweed. That would have worked, actually. That'd be fun. Fireweed's such a gorgeous plant. Okay. There we go. 
The poison is healing. Um, higher grade. It's the highest grade you can get, you greedy bastard. Carrots and biscuits and onions. What do you take me for? Get out of my shop. Uh, doesn't have mageberry. Okay. Well, you're in luck. Because mageberry is something I recently acquired. So, everything is made for you, all expenses paid. I'll take that. Ooh, your grave truffles are for a good price. Foggy parasols are a great price. All you could do with more mudshroom. I really rarely use the goblin shroom, but oh, madshroom. I love myself a madshroom. Okay. There we go. It's a deal. Good day to you, sir. Frost protection. Ha. Huh. I have those prepared now. And acid to open a stuck lock. Need the potion from two types of ingredients. No more. I think my acid is made from several. Is this a need or a desire? Oh. Well then. Mr. Mr. Man. Mr. Two-Type Acid. I shall make you the finest acid potion with only two types of ingredients. As your requests are very important to me, and my business is very heartfelt in delivering unto my customers the highest quality goods that you can get. The highest and only the highest of quality goods. Almost a direct line down, only a few little back bumps. Boop, boop, boop. And we'll get away to the stirring. Right in the corner there. You know, sometimes the corner is the greatest part of the adventure. And then, well, of course, the banana rama is the only rama you need for your banana. And, oh, look at this. A little bit of grinding. Never put it wrong. Oop, little miss there. Hey, hey. Okay. And then... One more time I shall see the Northwest Passage The path that takes me to the sea One more time A land so free and savage To see the Northwest Passage Okay. This will work. This will work. This will work. There we go. And Boom! Magnifico! Acid for your lock only using two types of ingredients. You are going to give me extra money for this. Amazing deal. There we go. And the potion to restore mana. Right then. Well, madam, you have no silly requests, so we'll brew this for you. There we go. And glue. Do I don't have any glue potions ready, do I? Oh. I I don't have any any sort of glue potions ready. Oh. Oh. I see. Okay. Well, we'll have to make that next time for him. So, we'll do that then. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you all next time. Until then, goodbye.